true Arabs is English for all. The American Accent Training Book American Accent Training 2nd Edition Book Plus 5 CDs by Ann Cook This is the website if you want to buy the book. The stress is to make the sound higher, longer and louder. This is stress. This is the meaning of stress. Stress is very important as it makes your accent like American native speakers. Now stress is to make the sound higher, louder and longer. Stress again is to make the sound higher, louder and longer. Syllable stress in word. Yes. If if I have a word, a word like China, Japan, Canada, Morocco, you will find the stress. The stress for any word which has two syllables, I should have a stress on one part. In every English word, there is a stress in the syllable. Now, let's have some word like chai, China, China, China. So here, we have here one part two parts. This word is made of two parts. This word has two parts. Chai na. So the stress is in the beginning. China. China. Ja Pan. Japan. Japan. Two syllables, two parts, but the stress on the second syllable. Ka na da. Canada. Canada, Canada, ka, Canada, Canada, Canada. The stress is in the first part. This word has three syllables, three parts. Ka, mo, mro, Morocco, Morocco. How many parts? This word has three parts. Mo, mro, Morocco. The stress is in the middle. Moro, ro, Morocco. R here is double R. R is double R. Morocco, Moro, Morocco. In a word, we have a stress before the shan sound. Stress before shan sound. So shan sounds. We can find them. Let's go back. Shan sound here. This is Shan sound. T I O N Shan. C I A N Shan. S S I O N Shan. Organize organization. Shan T I O N. Session session. Mission. Musician musician. So the C I A N. Shan. Stress before Shan sound. It could be T I O N, C I A N, or S S I O N. Organize, organize, organization, organization. Before T I O N, before Shan sound, stress the part before it. Organization, organization. Inform, information, 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 information. Enter, internet, international, international. So here in these words, organization, information, international, we stress before the shan sound, the T-I-O-N, the part before shan sound. Mu. Music, musician, musician, stress here, Z, musician, S-I, like Z, musician, musician. So, the C-I-A-N, Shan sound.
elect, electri, electric, electric, electrician, electrician, shan sound, c i n, shan. So here stress on electric, tre, t r, electrician. Stress this part. Electrician, mission, mission, shan sound, s s i o n, shan. I stress here on MI. Mission. Mission. Again, repeat after me. Organization. Information. International. Musician. Electrician Mission So this is the stress in the word But If I have a sentence We stress what? Noun Verb Adjective Adverb Which one we're gonna stress? Yes Nouns. Nouns give new information. So, stress nouns first in any sentence. Because nouns give you the information, we stress. We stress nouns because they give me the meaning. Example. That the boys need some help. The boys need some help. So, I stress on boys, help. Ahmed wants a book. Ahmed wants a book. What does Ahmed want? A book. So stress book. Who wants a book? Ahmed. So I stress Ahmed. So it give me the meaning Ahmed book. Boys help. This is why we stress nouns in any sentence. Statement intonation with nouns. Intonation or pitch change is primarily used to introduce new information. This means that when you're making a statement for the first time, you'll stress the nouns. Dogs eat bones. Exercise 1-2. Noun intonation. Practice the noun stress pattern after me using pitch change. Add your own examples at the end. 1. Dogs eat bones. 2. Mike likes bikes. 3. Elsa wants a book. 4. Adam plays pool. 5. Bobby needs some money. 6. Susie combs her hair. 7. John lives in France. 8. Nellie teaches French. 9. Ben writes articles. 10. Keys open locks. 11. Jerry makes music. 12. Jean sells some apples. 13. Carol paints the car. 14. Bill and I fix the bikes. 15. Ann and Ed call the kids. 16. The kids like the candy. 17. The girls have a choice. 18. The boys need some help. Pause the CD. Practice the patterns five more times on your own using your rubber band. If I didn't find an hour, we stress the verb. But this verb is action verb. Stress the verb if there isn't an hour. Ahmed and Ali watch television. So we stress Ahmed and Ali TV, the nouns. Ahmed and Ali watch TV. They watch it. They watch it. Here, I don't have a noun, the second sentence. They and it. So, they and it, pronouns. And this means I know that they are related to Ahmed and Ali. It related to television. So, we stress on watch. They watch it. Ahmed wants a book. Ahmed wants a book. So, we stress on Ahmed, book, the noun. Second sentence, he bought one, he bought one, he bought, so he stress on bought, 
because Baat give me the information. He bought one. That means Ahmed bought a book. He bought one. Statement intonation with pronouns. When you replace the nouns with pronouns, old information, stress the verb. They eat them. As we have seen, nouns are new information, pronouns are old information. In a nutshell, these are the two basic intonation patterns. Dogs eat bones. They eat them. Exercise 1-3, noun and pronoun intonation. In the first column, stress the nouns. In the second column, stress the verb. Fill in your own examples at the bottom. 1. Bob sees Betty. He sees her. 2. Betty knows Bob. She knows him. 3. Ann and Ed call the kids. They call them. 4. Jan sells some apples. She sells some. 5. Jean sells cars. She sells them. 6. Bill and I fix the bikes. We fix them. 7. Carl hears Bob and me. He hears us. 8. Dogs eat bones. They eat them. 9. The girls have a choice. They have one. 10. The kids like the candy. They like it. 11. The boys need some help. They need something. 12. Ellen should call her sister. She should call someone. 13. The murderer killed the plumber. He killed a man. 14. The tourists went shopping. They bought stuff. In a sentence, we stress the noun. If there is no noun, you stress the verb. If there is no verb, you stress adjectives. Stress adjectives. Stress adjectives if there isn't a verb or a noun. Cause, they give the meaning. He's short. It's hot. She's nice and gentle. So here in a sentence, he's short. If I said a question, what's Ahmed like? Short. So what give me the meaning? Short. Or he's short. So short is the answer. What's the weather like today? It's hot. Hot. It's hot. So hot, give me the meaning. What's Ahlam like? Nice and gentle. She's nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, give me the meaning. Set phrase. Stress the first noun in a mixed word. If I have a mixed word, what's a mixed word? A mixed word is word that made of two words, of two nouns. Example, noun plus noun. Hard, hardwood, hardwood. Bed, room, bedroom. Back, bone, backbone. Again, hardwood, bedroom, backbone. So if I have a noun like this, we stress the first noun. If I have a mixed noun, a noun which is made of two nouns, we stress the first part, the first noun. Repeat after me. Hardwood. Bedroom. Bedroom. Backbone. Backbone. In a compound noun, Stress the first noun. Compound noun is noun which made of two nouns. Bus, driver. Taxi, driver. Traffic, jam. So, repeat after me. Bus driver. Taxi driver. Traffic jam. Again, bus driver. Taxi driver. Traffic jam. We stress the first word. 
Bus, bus driver. Taxi, taxi driver. Traffic, traffic jam. Single word phrases. Repeat the following noun and adjective sentences. One, it's a nail. It's short. Two, it's a cake. It's chocolate. Three, it's a tub. It's hot. Four, it's a drive. It's hard. Five, it's a door. It's in back. Six, it's a card. There are four. Seven, it's a spot. It's small. Eight, it's a book. It's good. Two word phrases. Descriptive phrases. Nouns are heavier than adjectives. They carry the weight of the new information. An adjective and a noun combination is called a descriptive phrase. And in the absence of contrast or other secondary changes, the stress will always fall naturally on the noun. In the absence of a noun, you'll stress the adjective. But as soon as a noun appears on the scene, it takes immediate precedence and should be stressed. Exercise 125. Sentence stress with descriptive phrases. Repeat the following phrases. 1. It's short. It's a short nail. Two. It's chocolate. It's a chocolate cake. Three. It's good. It's a good plan. Four. It's guarded. It's a guarded gate. Five. It's wide. It's a wide river. Six. There are four. There are four cards. Seven. It was small. It was a small spot. Eight. It's the best. It's the best book. Pause the CD and write your own adjective and noun adjective sentences. Use the same word from exercise 124. Exercise 126. Two types of descriptive phrases. Repeat. One, it's a short nail. It's really short. Two, it's a chocolate cake. It's dark chocolate. Three, it's a hot bath. It's too hot. Four, it's a hard drive. It's extremely hard. Five, it's the back door. It's far back. Six, there are four cards. There are only four. Seven, it's a small spot. It's laughably small. Eight, it's a good book. It's amazingly good. Pause the CD and write your own adjective noun and adverb adjective sentences carrying over from exercise 120. We stress also, yes, we stress acronyms, numbers, spelling, acronyms, abbreviations, numbers, spelling, when I spell a word, like to say the letters, to say the letters or tell the letters, acronyms, acronyms, abbreviation. The first letters of words, initial letters of words, stress the last letter. So if I have abbreviation, we stress the last letter. When I say MBA, MBA, M, Master, B, Business, A, Administration. So we stress A, MBA, MBA. USA, USA, the USA, the United States of America. So you, United States, S, A, America. So you stress on A, USA. IQ, intelligence questions. T, 
TV, televisions. LA, Los Angeles. Now, repeat after me. MBA, USA, IQ, TV, LA, again, MBA, USA, IQ, TV, LA. So we stress the last letter, A, A, Q, V, A. Spelling. When you spell a word, stress the last letter. Bok, B O O K. So stress on K. Spell Bok, B O O K. Teacher, teacher, T E A C H E R. T E A C H E R. R. Pen, pen, P E N. P -E N. So you stress K R N. You spell numbers. Stress the last number, phone number, mobile number, extension number, birth date. So if I wanna say any number, if I want to say any number, stress the last number. Phone number three three seven four eight nine two four. So you stress on four. Mobile number o one one four five six seven eight nine two one. Stress on one. Extension number extension number one two three. Birth date nineteen seventy seven. So you stress on seven. So again. We stress the last number. Maybe phone number, mobile number, extension number, birth date. You stress the last number. Four, one, three, seven. Exercise 119. Spelling and numbers. Just as there is stress in words or phrases, there is intonation in spelling and numbers. Americans seem to spell things out much more than other people. In any bureaucratic situation, you'll be asked to spell names and give all kinds of numbers, your phone number, your birth date, and so on. There's a distinct stress and rhythm pattern to both spelling and numbers, usually in groups of three or four letters or numbers, with the stress falling on the last member of the group. Acronyms, phrases that are represented by the first letter of each word, and initials are usually stressed on the last letter. Just listen to the words as I say them, then repeat the spelling after me. IBM, MIT, PhD, MBA, LA, IQ, RSVP, TV, USA, ASAP, CIA, FBI, USMC, COD, SOS, XYZ, Box, BOX, Cook, C O O K, Wilson, W I L S O N, Area Code 213, Zip Code 94708, Date 9662, Phone Number 555. 9132. Used out syllables. Intonation can also completely get rid of certain entire syllables. Some longer words that are stressed on the first syllable squeeze weak syllables right out. Cover up the regular columns and read the words between the brackets. Actually. Average. Aspirin. Broccoli. Business. Camera, chocolate, comfortable, corporal, desperate, diamond, diaper, different, emerald, vegetable, beverage, 
bakery, Catholic, nursery, onion, every, family, finally, general, groceries, interest, jewelry, mathematics, memory, orange, probably, restaurant, separate, several, liberal, conference, coverage, history, accidentally, basically, Contrast stress. The stress changes to emphasize a contrast. A contrast when I give you the opposite in meaning. Example. A and B are talking. A. Is Ahmed studying English? No. He's teaching English. So he's not studying. He's teaching. So stress teaching. Again. Is Ahmed studying English? No. He's teaching English. This means teaching, not studying. Stress before ang. Ang or ing sound like having, winning, doing. Yes, so stress the first part of the word or before ing. The ing is not stressed. Like doing, we say what? Doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Going? Going. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? So we make the N with G together. Repeat after me. Having. Wedding. Doing. Going. In this lecture, we know what we stress, but we usually don't stress. We usually do not stress articles, helping verbs, models, pronouns, and prepositions. What does it mean? Articles. Articles, example of articles like a, an, and the. We don't stress. Don't stress a, an, or the. Okay? Helping verbs, helping verbs like verb to be, am, is, are, was, where, verb to do, do, does, did, verb to have, have, has, had. As helping verb, we do not stress them. Morals, may, can, could, would, may and might, can and could, will and would, shall and should, we don't stress morals. Pronouns, all pronouns, I do not stress them. Pronouns like subject pronouns, I, he, she, they, it, we, okay, object pronoun, him, them, me, all, all pronouns, we do not stress them. Her, his, our, their, prepositions, at, in, on, under, between, between, among, in front of. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.